And in Uganda, let's start the first on the front page there. Very sad situation, but it captures that story in the Daily Monitor. Um, uh, but let, let's go first to the Daily Monitor. Let's start with the Daily Monitor first. Um, this one says, Uganda, 15 years away from COVID jab. Experts, mm, Uganda, 15 years away from COVID jab. Well, after promising that they would have uh, uh, got a locally made vaccine for coronavirus by the end of 2021, Ugandan scientists on the project now have changed the music. They had promised that there will be a, a vaccine in Uganda in 2021, a project that they planned. But now the story and the music has changed. They say the country requires 15 to 25 years to build capacity and ready to produce jabs. Once again, Africa, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it was loud and proud when they all came uh, live and said, listen, we're going to produce um, jabs, our locally made jabs, which is one of the things that was discussed and talked about heavily, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic uh, period. Uh, but now uh, the music seems to have changed. Well, let's take a look at other stories quickly. Uh, Rainbow, Tama dances to entertain and feel good. Well, I think that's a lighter part. You might want to take a look at that story. Uh, retained Onyanya's furniture, bodyguard says uh, Tayibwa. <laughs> bodyguard. Keeping uh, some of the things that belong to the boss. Anyway, let's also take a look at another story and not too far off. Toro Kadi named assistant Mufti. Five die of Rift Valley fever in Mbarara. And this picture you see here, Ryla starts protest. We just talked about it not long ago. And uh, Ryla Odinga is saying the protest should be held weekly. Now, do you know what protest does to an economy? When you have consistent protest every now and then it increases the cost for of living and before you know it the uh, flexible cost function of a country uh, starts to dwindle therefore it also affects productivity and not forgetting to commerce so rilo dinga in a way like someone mentioned is looking to cripple the economy and william ruto uh, would need to think quickly that's all we'll take on the front page of daily monitor all right, from Uganda, let's go to Zimbabwe and see what's on the Newsday newspapers this morning. Big one there, splashing the screen, says kidnapping, uh, torture, uh, claims, hit ZANU-PF polls. Um, of course, remember, Zimbabwe is preparing for its next general elections. And it says campaigning for the ZANU-PF primary elections has been marred by reports of violence and kidnappings, while some big wigs have withdrawn their candidature after allegedly failing to suppress young Turks challenging them. Um, the primary elections to choose candidates that will represent the party at the parliamentary and local um, uh, um, election, local assembly elections expected middle of the year uh, will be held on Saturday. All right, also this uh, morning on the Newsday, um, Con Court dismisses a uh, delimination challenge on page two. And also Chief calls on ED and Chimasa to talk. Um, these are the big ones, actually. Not very many stories. As usual, the Newsday newspapers just has, you know, three or four max stories to share. Uh, and now from Zimbabwe, let's go to Nigeria and see what's going on on the Punch newspapers. All right, let's take a look at the Punch newspapers this morning. And our very first uh, story that we'll look at is what you have on the front page there. APC wins 15 states, PDP 6, and NPP takes that stronghold. Cano. Uh, nobody can contest if you put it that way. And the infographics there actually stretches the fact that APC, color in uh, blue, of course, seeing the dominating force across uh, the country, Nigeria, and then the red signifying that of PDP, not forgetting the yellow, which signifies the stronghold of the NNPP. Well, um, you also have other parties who uh, possibly picked up one. I talk about Labour Party picking up um, uh, one governorship um, race uh, in the uh, southeast in the south i think it's currently inconclusive until yeah and then you have the case of being inconclusive and the likes and of course one of course uh, which was um uh, declared um well let's also take a look at the other stories someone raises civil servant salary by 20 percent uh, possibly one of the promises he had made to them uh, when he visited them uh, right before the elections during the campaigns and celebration is of course in the end the civil service Lagos husband the rain for wife's death I'm sure it's um, that story uh, where the husband and the wife kept having issues and there was a case of arson well you might want to read up and know what it's all about 
Musician, friend, killed BDC operators, guard, arrested. Sad story. Let's quickly touch uh, the other stories at the top there. EFCC grills four NCAA chiefs over alleged 2 billion naira fraud. EFCC grills four NCAA chiefs over alleged 2 billion naira fraud. Angers NNPCL hires expatriates to head subsidiary. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. EU observers blame politicians. INEC for vote buying. So you also heard that in the news. The EU is saying that the elections, mm -mm -mm. nothing to write them about in Nigeria. All right. Uh, and now on the Nation newspapers this morning, it says here APC wins 15 states, PDP 6, and NPP takes Kano. Labour Party leads in Abia, Fubara, um, and uh, a few other places. Um, in Abia, I beg your pardon, Fubara, Otu, and... Uh, Obey worry, uh, governors elect. I think that's in um, Delta State. Expect new moon for Ramadan tomorrow, says the Sultan. And uh, we can also find here cash crisis, banking infrastructure for expansion. I think it's getting better. I I, I want to imagine that it is getting better. It There's is. Now it is. Sadly, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not. Oh, okay. Lagos okay's twenty percent uh, salary raise for workers. Payment backdated. And also Namani, Chimarokin Namani of the um, uh, Enugu state, uh, who lost, of course, you know, and has been going on a Twitter um, rant nonstop, even up till 1 a.m. or 3 a.m. last night, um, quits the PDP. And also EFCC arrests four NCAA officials. Uh, these are the big stories on the nation newspapers this morning. But of course, it's all the drama uh, pre, during and post Nigerian elections that we, of course, have been sharing with you. Stay with us this morning, away from the newspapers. We have uh, our top stories coming your way next, where we, of course, uh, dive into the big conversations happening across the continent. That comes up right next after this break.